India and US are working to finalize the draft agreement for the transfer of technology related to the F-414 jet engine, and officials at Hindustan Aeronautics have been diligently working on the text of the agreement, to avoid any last-minute demands or glitches. Once the agreement is finalized, it will be promptly communicated to the US House and Senate Foreign Affairs Committees for their attention and consideration. The successful conclusion of the F-414 transfer of technology agreement will pave the way for the local production of the engines, and will also open up new avenues for collaboration and partnership between Indian and American defense industries. The CBI has filed a corruption case against the director of British firm Rolls-Royce Tim Jones along with unidentified officials for alleged kickbacks in the procurement of 24 Hawk 115 advanced jet trainer aircraft for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. It is alleged that during 2003 to 2012, these officials abused their official positions for procurement of 24 Hawk aircraft, and they also permitted the license manufacturing of 42 additional aircraft by Hindustan Aeronautics with materials supplied by Rolls-Royce. India has issued a no-time warning from the period between 1st June to 2nd of June 2023, and the designated area for the test covers a range of 700 kilometers, leading to speculation that it might be the final phase test of Praly tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile, for which the DRDO has already secured orders for over 370 of these missiles from the Indian Air Force and Indian Army. The final phase test of the Pralay missile will allow the scientists and engineers to assess its performance and gather valuable data, and ensure its effectiveness, accuracy and reliability before it is officially inducted into the armed forces. Cochin Shipyard has embarked on an ambitious project to build fully indigenous autonomous surface vessel, that will create a scalable solution, which will meet international standards and address the diverse needs of both commercial and defense sectors. The autonomous vessels can tow various sensors, and it can operate efficiently and effectively in various maritime scenarios, and will prove to be a safe and cost-effective method of marine monitoring of large areas. After learning the effectiveness of Russian electronic warfare systems in Ukraine, which have brought down nearly 10,000 Ukrainian drones per month, the Ministry of Defense had signed a 3,000 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for the procurement of two Him Shakti integrated electronic warfare systems for the Indian Army, which will be delivered in the next two years. It is tailored for operations in mountainous trains, with a specific focus on countering potential threats posed by the Chinese military. The Indian Air Force's Dhruva Command has successfully carried out the maiden airdrops of warfighting loads using AN-32 aircraft, which validates its ability to swiftly deploy essential equipment and supplies during combat operations. The successful maiden airdrops included ammunition weapons and other equipment, which is a crucial capability when ground-based logistics are facing challenges due to difficult terrain or hostile environments. Indian Navy's P-8I long-range maritime surveillance aircraft took off from INS Hansa and undertook a maiden landing at Bahrain International Airport, to participate in Operation Compass Rose as part of Combined Maritime Force. The Combined Maritime Force is a coalition of 34 nations and is commanded by a Vice Admiral of the US Navy, and India decided to become an associate partner of the Combined Maritime Forces at the 2 plus 2 ministerial discussions between India and the United States in April 2022.